So I have this tree here. Do we all agree that it's a binary tree? Okay, so we're gonna go over some very basic algorithms now as to how to go through the tree and print the nodes. In this case, the nodes happen to be a single capitalized character. You see A, B, C, F, D, not, not in any particular order. These are the data that are contained in each node. So we're gonna learn how to parse this tree four different ways. The first way is called a pre-order. That is another way of thinking about that is first visit. Post order, that's last visit. In order, that's second visit. And level order is one level at a time. Now, it turns out that these two are trivially easy. This one is harder and this one is much harder. We're gonna look at pre-order first. And in order to do pre-order, what we're going to do is we're gonna start off at the root. We'll always start off at the root. And we're going to try to go as far left as possible if we can't go to the left because there's no node here, then we'll go to the right. And each time we come upon a new node, we will visit it, or in this case, print it. So I'll do this with you here, and you follow along on some piece of paper and write down the answers, because you're not gonna remember when you get home. So we're gonna start here at the root, and we're gonna go over here, and we're gonna go to the left. Always try to go to the left. So originally we're here and we're gonna event, let me point the output. Have we visited A already? Yes. We, well, we're, we haven't, we're just visiting it now. So we're gonna print A for the first time. This is the output or the visitation, okay? We're gonna go to the left. Have we visited B before? No. No, so we're gonna print B now. And now we're gonna try to go to the left here, but we can't because there's nothing there. So now we're gonna go to the right and print C. Now we're gonna print, so we're, we're, we're so far we've done this. We've done this, okay? Then we're gonna print D. Then we're gonna come back up here. Now we're not gonna print C again because we've already visited C. So then we're gonna come down here and then we're gonna print E. And now we're gonna come back up. We visited C already, we visited B, we visited A already. Then we're gonna come over here now to F. And now we're gonna print F. Now, I would like you to finish now for me. Mr. Mulcahy, can you help me finish, sir? What would be the remaining order of the nodes? G, G, I, J. Okay, very good, sir. I'm gonna show you a little trick to help you figure out how to do this quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take marker and I'm going to put a little tab thing on the left side of each node like this. Each node will get a little tab here on the left. And what I'm gonna say is that every time I strike the tab, I'm gonna print the node. That's what I'm gonna say. So now I'm coming along here, and you can see I strike this tab. So I'm gonna print the node. I come here, I strike the B tab. I strike C, D, E. See there are no tabs on this side. Then I strike the F tab, the H, the G, the I, the J, and then I come back here. So that will give me that sequence there. So that is pre-order, first visit. Now we're gonna talk about another way to parse the tree, which is post-order. This is the last visit, last visit. Let's look at that one. And I'm going to go to the left, and I'm gonna keep going. And now I'm gonna be visiting D for the last time. So I'm gonna print that. So, so far I'm here. Then I'm gonna come over here. Now I'm visiting E for the last time. So I print that. And as I come up here, I'm visiting C for the last time. Now I'd like you to finish this for me. I'll give you a hint. What's the last node that's going to be printed? A. A. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, Mr. Alejandro, sir, can you help me finish up the post order parsing of this tree. We left off at C. Now what should we print, sir? B. Okay. G. Yep. Uh, J. Yes. I. Yes. H. Yes. F. Yes. A. Okay, very good, sir. Is that clear? Okay, I'm gonna show you a little hint on how to do this using the tab trick that I showed you before. This time we're gonna just put the tabs on this side. And when we come along with our cursor now, you can see that when I hit the tab, I print the letter.
Okay. So for post order, I put the little tab on the right hand side. Now for the in order, it's a little bit harder because we're gonna discuss the second visit. The other thing that makes in order a little bit more challenging is that it's much easier to do if you draw in the null pointers. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the null pointers. You could have done this for the other ones also, it just wasn't necessary. So I'm gonna draw the nulls in. So let me draw the null in. Here's a null. Here are two nulls. Here are two nulls. Here's a null. Here are two nulls. Here are two nulls and here's one null. Did I leave out any nulls? I think I got them all. And what we want to ask ourselves is when we visit the node for the second time, for the second time we want to print it, okay? So let's start over here. We're gonna go with A. So we're here, we're here, we're visiting B for the first time. Now we're back here, we're visiting B for the second time. You see that, right? So now we're gonna write B. Now we're visiting C for the first time, D for the first time. Now we're visiting D for the second time. So now we're here. Now you can see we're visiting C for the second time. Now we're visiting E. Now I'd like you to finish this for me. Okay. Mr. F, sorry, sir, you're up. We left off at E. What, what, what are we going to do now? F. F is next. Yes, sir. G. G. Yes. H. Yes. J. Yes. I. Yes. Um, we left one off, sir. A. a. Where should A have been? Where should A have been in here, sir? Oh, before F. Right here. A should have been there like that. Okay, so you can see that that's the right order. Now I'm going to show you a little trick to help you figure out in order. Uh, that was in order, miss. Second visit. Can anyone guess where I'm gonna put the tabs? Yes, sir. I was gonna say on the bottom. The That's table. right. Oh, it doesn't. It's at the bottom now. So I'm gonna put the tabs here. So watch now. I'm coming around. See, I hit the tab. Okay. B. And then come around here. I hit the tab for D. Now I hit the tab for C and E. Now I hit the tab for A. F. G. H. J. And then I finally. So we put the tabs at the bottom here. I'm gonna just redraw a different tree here. And we're going to briefly introduce the idea of level order. So we want to print it in level order. What should the output look like for level order? Mr. Mariak, sir? So we're gonna do one level at a time. So tell me the order, sir. A, then B, C, D, E, E, F, G, or F, G. So that's what we want. So we have to try to figure out how we're going to do this, and it turns out that it's a lot more complicated than the other ones we have before. And before I leave you today, I'm going to ask you one final question. I'll tell you that it is extremely useful to do level order parsing to use an auxiliary data structure. That means another thing that we're going to use as a temporary holder of stuff, and it's a data structure that we learned before. I'd like you to talk to your partner now to try and figure out what auxiliary data structure do you think might be useful for us here in order to do level order parsing of the tree. Mr. Nikita. Maybe stack because. A stack is a good guess, but it's not right here. Mr. Ben. Yeah. Yes. 2D array. 2D array? No. Yes, sir. Like this? Yes, it, well, it's a particular function of a linked list. What, what am I looking for? Yes, sir. It's gonna be a queue. We're gonna use a queue to help us do level order parsing. I promise you that next time, I know you're very excited about that. You'll have to put your excitement off for now.